Hi guys, welcome back to How To Tuesdays. Now today it's contour and highlight, cream contour, cream highlight, with a bit of powder contour. I can't speak, I'm sorry. Um, today is just kind of like in-depth how-tos, do's, don'ts, where to place it, how to get the effect, the way I do my contour, especially like my nose contour, and yeah, I've do, I mean there's not much to it, which tones to pick, very in-depth video, like all of these how-to series videos, if you haven't checked the other videos out, or you've never been to my channel, hi, I'm Nicole. Um, don't forget to check my other videos out and subscribe, and yeah, there's a whole playlist of them at the end of the screen if you want to click on them. There's a bunch of how-to videos for, from the series, so feel free to check them out, especially if you're starting out. This is more for like beginners and aim towards that. So um, yeah, just a quick list disclaimer before I start this video. Yes, I don't have any nail polish on. I need to put nail polish on today, um, but never mind that. And also, um, just to make it clear, this is contour for beginners and um, do's, don'ts, wise, the ideal contour shade and like shape of the face that you're trying to aim for, it's ideal, but just so you know, contour isn't to like, you know, alter your face and because you need to alter it, it's just because you want to play with it or maybe you're insecure of something and you'd like to change it while you're playing with makeup and you might as well do that, but just love yourself the way you are, you're beautiful the way you are, and contour isn't to just change because you should change your face shape to the ideal one, okay? So that aside and not rambling on and on and on, <laughs> please. Let's just go ahead and get started with the video. Okay, so I've done my base already, and I'm going to get into contour today, as you see from the title. Um, now, essentially what contour is, and why people like to do it, and why it's trending um, recently, is because you can um, alter your face to make it look like what it seems, or the ideal shape. Now, the reason I'm putting air quotes is because there's no ideal shape, really. Um, but the one that people commonly go for is kind of like a heart-shaped kind of face. And with pronounced cheekbones, um, really thin nose, and like fuller lips kind of thing with like an accentuated jawline. That's kind of like the thing people go for most commonly. Now what you're trying to do is make and create shadows um, with makeup to give that illusion that your nose is thinner, you, um, it's wider. Like that's how, that's how people create those transformations that you're like, oh my god, she doesn't look anything like it, um, like she did before. Um, most of the time it's just a lot of contouring and highlighting and different like lighting angles that's how people look different obviously like you can't like actually alter your face um, if you look at yourself from like um, a flat angle or I don't know how to explain it but just like straight on from certain places instead of looking at yourself from like you know the front and direct and oh yes excuse my nails they're not painted I need to paint them on later today but I didn't want to paint them wait maybe in ages and then some so excuse that um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, what you want to do is kind of just look at the person straight on and be like, oh yeah, that's nice. But when you kind of like tilt the head or do things, you kind of notice it more and you try to blend it out as much as you can so it's not as noticeable. But if you're a makeup artist, you already know. <laughs> there are no secrets here. Um, and I'm kind of just like telling you how to create this effect. Now with uh, makeup, what you're trying to do essentially like I said, is create a shadow, create that illusion. See how there's kind of a bit of shadow right here and here and like I get shadow here. Like you know where the light naturally hit. I do have quite high cheekbones, um, but I had a bit of weight gain and you can't really see it as much. Um, so you can use makeup to get that effect back if that's what you desire. You absolutely don't have to do this, you don't have to change your face, like let it be clear that contouring, I'm just showing you contouring and highlighting the techniques um, because you want to do them and you want to try them, there's absolutely no need for you to uh, have, like, have that pressure of looking a certain way or having your nose a certain way and obviously if you're insecure and makeup makes you feel better and um, for example you don't really like your nose, which is very common, um, a lot of people don't like their noses so they like to contour them and slim them down and make them look however they want. Um, but please, please, please don't feel pressured to like change your face shape to the ideal type. Like, you're perfect the way you are, you're beautiful the way you are. This is just how to show you the techniques um, that people use to create that illusion. So, without rambling onwards, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. Now, I have a cream contour palette. Essentially, what you can do is use cream contour palettes or powder contour palettes. This is cream, this is powder. Now, I like to do both. I'm going to show you both, and the reason I do both is because when you do cream, 
and create a very light layer of cream and a very light layer of powder it is more durable and long lasting if you just put powder on top of your base as if I were to set this this isn't set I just did my base that's it um, if I were to set this and just go with powder yeah you can create the same effect but it won't be one as intense and two as long wearing so yeah and if you just do cream it's, it might be a bit messy so I like to do both if I'm gonna have a long wearing day definitely like I said both I'm using the Revolution um, Makeup Revolution London Ultra Cream Contour Palette it looks like this you can get it in super drug it's very very inexpensive um, there are a bunch of contour palettes you don't have to go exactly for this one but this is the one that works for me and my skin tone obviously not all contour palettes especially drugstore ones will have the shades that you need for this now when I open this palette you can see that there are some highlight shades and some contour shades um, this isn't really a contour shade really um, but here we have a more warm, like more warm shades, and this is a, a lighter shade. Now, what you're trying to look for when you're contouring and creating those shadows and effects is that you have to go for a cool toned um, concealer. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is th these are a lot warmer; they're more richer. If you look, obviously, like a, a color red, you see the warm colors and the cool colors. The cool colors with a cool undertone. This is the most difficult thing I'm trying to explain undertones and. Obviously, you're not going to have like an orange um, contour shade or like a blue contour shade, anything like that. Obviously not. These are the underlying pigments and the shades that you can see from um, these. If you haven't seen um, all about like the undertones and how to find yours and all of that, please check out the How To Foundation video. I'll put a link somewhere you can see it. There's a whole playlist at the end of this video if you want to watch that after this. Um, but I go very in depth with that and the undertones in that video. So I'm going to leave that to the side. But what you want to use is um, a cool toned shade to create those shadows. Why? Because the shadows are, aren't are like warm light or anything. It's very cool. It's essentially, if you look at a shadow, it's gray, almost black. And obviously we're not going to put gray on with black. We're going to try to create that effect with skin tone, more skin tone friendly colors. Using cream contour, I like to use two types of brushes. Now, this is like a round, quite dense brush. This is the Morphe M173 brush. This is a normal um, concealer brush. It's very thin, and I like to use this one for my nose. This one, the fatter one, I like to use to make that shadow like around my cheekbones. You see how it's already there a little bit? So I just want to pronounce it even further because when I put other stuff on, for example, my bronzer, it's going to get lost in there, so I like to do that too. Now, most of the time I don't contour and highlight, I usually just highlight and bronze my face because that, that's what I'm comfortable doing. Um, it's just quicker and it's kind of like my everyday routine type of thing. So, I'm going to grab this shade right here that doesn't have any names at the back, so I'm just going to point you to this one. Kind of like swirl it around in there a little bit, warm it up because obviously they're creams, you got to warm them up, work them a little bit. And now, what I'm going to do with this bit of product, when I'm trying to create my face, you can see it goes points downwards and diagonally. Now, it's very important to know which angle to do the contour. Now, obviously, like, you can create different, eff different effects. And you know, for example, with SFX, with special effects makeup, and, like, you know, creating cool different, like, you know, creatures on your, like, face and everything, because your face is a canvas, essentially. Um, what people do is they do use contouring techniques to create shadows and new characters and things like that and they can place them in, even in the weirdest of places and it will work. Now, where the light doesn't hit on my face, you can start to see the shadow. I want to follow it along and I'm just dragging the product ever so slightly and I'm going to drag it about like what, a third of the way? A third of the way there. Um, it's kind of around where my eyebrow ends. I don't want to pull it further because then it's going to make my face look very, like, you know, super sharp. And that's not what we're trying to go for. Um, I'm going to just drag it in there. And with cream products, what you want to do is kind of start blending it upwards because if you drag it down, it's going to bring your face lower. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is um, the shadows effect and playing and everything. If, if we were to apply it anywhere lower, it's going to bring our face down. If we were to apply it higher, it's going to bring, like, our cheekbones a lot higher. Kind of, like, magnificent magnificent maleficent um type of cheekbone so you get the gist of what i'm trying to tell you so yeah i've applied it there now next i'm gonna grab a little bit more product and where you see my jawline i'm going to contour this bit too to kind of pronounce it even more so there following the shadows 
and not over moving my neck a lot, just trying to see the natural shadows. I'm using the viewfinder so I see what you're seeing. What I'm doing is I'm dragging the color a little bit downwards because look what happens. So this is the, the side that isn't contoured at all and when I start doing this, it starts to create that effect of my neck and my double chin is hidden, um, so to say. Like I said, from different angles, you'll definitely see it there. I just got cream contour everywhere. So I'm just going to drag this down a little bit further. And that's about it. That's all I'm going to do for now. Obviously, it looks crazy. I still need to blend it so you see a close-up of the shadow. But if you go back, it still looks normal. Obviously, I need to blend it. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I've got that down. Now I'm going to move on to my nose. And I'm going to use the smaller brush that I was um, telling you about. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to find the shadows of my face where the light hits naturally. I like to bend my face a little bit lower because I can see the natural lines there. So what I like to do is I like to start very lightly. Don't grab a lot of product, grab a little bit at a time because your nose is the most noticeable place where you can see failed and like, you know, mashed, like, you can see just failed and really ugly contour. So, just bending my face a little lower. I'm trying to set the um, contour shade right where my natural shadows were. Now, what you can do, here's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So what you can do is you can go all the way down if you want to extend your nose a little bit. Um, I like to go all the way down so it slims the tip too. You can slim the tip too like that. And I'm going to drag the product all the way down here. Now, this is how I like to contour my nose. I'm going to show you my technique. There are like a bazillion techniques of how to make your nose look different in every single way, this is the one I like to do the most. So, um, I'm, every single time, um, as a rule of thumb, you need to know that where you place the product first is where it's going to be mostly concentrated, so that's why I went to the sides first and then I moved my way upwards because over here is where the highlight's going to hit. So, obviously that's elongating my nose, but now I need to shorten it, so I'm going to apply the product here, and that's going to make my nose look a little tiny bit shorter. And I don't mind my nose like at all. I like my nose. I just like to look for it to look a little bit like you know more pointed upward, a little bit, not too much, and um, a little bit thinner. So what I like to do too is I like to drag the foundation, the foundation, the contour, all the way up to my brow because when I also do my eyeshadow, I like to drag it there and it creates a bit of a shadow there too. And just pulling it over there. What I also like to do to the sides is to slim it down from the sides over here a lot more. I like to drag the product to the sides, down my nose over here, and do a tiny line here. You see what I mean? So I shortened my nose and I've done that. Now, um, to make my lip, my bottom lip, look a little bit bigger, I'm going to apply a little bit of contour down here. And it's going to make my lips look a lot bigger. I also like to apply the contour here. To make my cupid's bow look a little bit more pronounced. Because this is where the shadow is. And this is the actual cupid's bow right here. So, okay, so now that I've set all of that down, I'm going to go back to the other brush. And just apply a tiny bit of contour around here. My forehead is fine. I don't feel like... I need to contour it a little bit more, but I just like to put a little bit of shadow here um, because I just bronze my forehead. I don't feel like it's huge, like it's like a four finger. I'm not a five head, so <laughs> another thing that people like to do, and I'd understand why, is they like to contour your body, like their body and stuff like that. So to make your collarbone look more pronounced, you look at the shades and like do it under, do it on top, and things like that. But that's like a whole nother thing. I'm just gonna go into this, and now using my sponge on a clean side, no product on whatsoever. I'm gonna press it and blend it upwards. And now that's a lot more seamless, you can see the shadow a lot more there, and it just looks better. And I'm going to do the same everywhere else. Just blend it downwards. Now 
Now when you're doing this, remember to tap, don't drag, otherwise you're going to pull the foundation off. And I'm using a sponge specifically and not a brush because the brush can also drag the foundation off. So that's what I like to do. And using the same side but just kind of squeezing the sponge a bit, I'm going to blend, like I said, tap the contour. Now obviously it looks a, a lot more blended there. Um, you've lost kind of like the definition, but don't worry. We're gonna get it back and we're gonna, you're gonna see how I create this effect. It's really, really nice. So now that we're all contoured, I'm going to highlight and um, you can use these um, concealers to highlight and to brighten your under eye, but I don't like using them. One, because it's a cream and it's a lot more thick and my under eye area is very very thin and if I apply a thick cream onto my under eye it feels like it's weighing it down it feels very cakey and heavy so I like to just highlight with um, my concealer now this shade is this is like a lighter shade than my actual skin tone like it matches my skin tone but it's a little bit lighter so the undertone everything is fine it's a neutral undertone so it's not going to be more yellow or pink it's not correcting anything I have a whole concealer video and how to do that I'll link it at the um, end. You can see it's a whole playlist of these videos. Um, but as for now, I'm just going to highlight and I'm going to show you the places where I highlight. Now, you can't really see, but you can see that like I don't have bags, like actual bags that come like, out. I have under eye circles and I have deep set eyes, which makes it a little bit more hollow in here. Using the Revolution Conceal and Define um, Concealer in the shade C2. I like to use C1 too, but I see one too, like also. I like to use that one too, but this is a more neutral tone. Um, so I'm going to play it here and just drag it upwards like that. And the reason I'm applying it here too is because I'm giving myself a little bit more full coverage um, because I don't have. I have discoloration there and it's a very thin skin. Now, very lightly, I'm going to. Now to the same set that I use a concealer to like, you know, blend everything out, not the one that I used for the contour, which is down here, I'm going to just pat ever so slightly. Now this is going to bring the face um, forward where the light hits naturally. It's going to like brighten and, you know, bring it forward and bring these shadows, the, the contour is going to bring it sh the shadows back. Jesus, I can't speak. See how that's brightening it a lot more? I'm going to flip my sponge onto this like very thin side and I'm just going to blend it upwards onto my forehead. And the tip of my nose. Now it's going to look a lot better when I put the other powder on top, but as for now, this is what the whole face looks like. There are more shadows, you can't like see my double chin as much, it's like a little bit more hidden, so it creates that effect. And that's basically it. Now like I said, you can use um, these types of shades and I would also use one of these brushes and apply it and like apply it like that in those zones. I like to do kind of like a triangle shape and like elongate it to the back um, to my hairline because it's going to bring more light onto the face and it's not going to close it more and that's essentially what I like to do. Now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and come back. Okay, so now that I've done the rest of like my face makeup and I've set it with translucent powder, I've put some cream bronzer, cream blush and cream highlight. You can kind of see the glow and I've, then I've put a thin layer of translucent powder on top. Um, and now I'm going to go into the um, powders. Now, I'm going to use this palette by Makeup Obsession. This is called the Gimme Some Sun palette. Well, it says bronzer palette. And right here for my skin tone, I have this cool tone shade and this warm tone shade. This I'm going to use for contouring and this is what I'm going to use for um, bronzing. So now for contour, I'm going to use this thin um, contour brush. It's not as big as a normal powder brush. So you see the difference. Um, this is the size difference. So it's very... Um, then to get into the hollows of my cheekbones and now I'm gonna grab buff 
and do essentially the same technique. I'm gonna, that does not have a mirror. Um, I'm gonna follow the same pattern, the same line that I did and just do it side to side. It's okay because I, I can already like, you know, move around the product because I've said it was translucent powder. The stuff on the bottom is not gonna move around, so it's fine. So I'm just gonna blend it upwards a bit. I'm gonna keep this area clear of it because I don't wanna drag it down too much. If you do end up dragging it down a little bit, it's okay. You can just use the sponge and whatever's left of the sponge to kind of like create that line. This is why I really like this sponge because you can create that line under and you can fix your mistakes. I'm gonna do the same. Just side to side. A little bit of product goes a long way. And blend it upward. Now for my jawline, essentially I've already put quite a layer on for the jawline and I don't want it to look like two completely different shades so I'm gonna try to blend that out um, as much as I can and then I go over it with bronzer so I can blend the contour down to my neck and like even more the skin tone out so I'm gonna grab a little tiny bit of product and put it on the side here so you can see it looks a lot more pronounced and just concentrate the product right there blend the edges out a little bit but that's about it so now you can see what I mean there the same for the chin just concentrate the product there I'm not gonna drag it out as much as I did with the cream contour and that's it that's the illusion we're creating for my nose contour I'm gonna actually use an eye brush this is an angled eye it looks like this right here it's angled like it's tapered it's synthetic as well and it helps me this is the brush that I like to use best to do my nose contour now what I like to do and how I like to do pick up the product for my nose I already have a lot of like base the cream base on there and I don't want to pack it way too much because otherwise it's gonna look like I just have an orange blob on my nose so um, I'm going to grab the, ed ed the, blah, the edges of this brush. So I like to tap the very edge, the tip, and the edge of it like this. I don't know if you can see the product properly, but I put it on the edges. I don't put it on the dense area. The dense area I leave so that blends the product out. So tapping off the excess powder so I don't get way too much. I'm going to use the side of it and angle the very edge where the product is, the edge of this brush and just side to side, up and down, create that line, and the same on the other side, start dragging it upward, and now the same for the bottom part, and now the sides that I just showed you with the cream. Now, I barely have any product left, I'm not going to pick up any more, and I'm just going to blend the contour out a little bit. And it's going to go onto my brows, and blend it down a tiny, tiny bit. Then, I'm going to actually go with the dense side and tap it under, like, like, tap it like this, not like at an angle. I'm going to tap it like that, put the excess off. And then for the bottom part of my lip, I'm going to do the same side to side, swiping, and then a little bit right there. I'm going to grab a brush that I used to set my under eyes and like specific areas with. This is a Real Technique setting brush. By the way, these rose gold handled brushes are BH Cosmetics brushes. It comes in that, an entire set, and I really, truly love them. They're really good. Using this brush, I am going to grab it and just slightly blend out the areas that I feel like are too harsh or like too pronounced and I could blend them out a little bit more. So for example, I would do, do it right here. This has no product on it, just the remains of translucent powder, so I'm just trying to blend everything. I'm going to use the same thing to blend out the edges of the lip one and go over it on top a little bit of my cupid's bow. I'm going to show you my bronzing bit so just so you see how everything blends together. I, this is going to be an entire different video. Blush highlight like the shimmery highlight and um, bronzer so I'm just gonna show you a tiny bit more I grab a flat puffy brush unlike my powder brush that's like this I'm gonna grab a flat powder brush I'm gonna grab the shade rays right here and it's very pigmented you can see the product on there I tap off a little bit and because I already have a cream bronzer on and it's quite intense I'm just gonna tap the first few areas that I'd like the product to be most intense 
and you're gonna see how the contour blends out with the bronzer and it's not as pronounced this is where I mostly wanted to show you my neck so you see my neck you see from the side you can see the darker cast over here now what I want to do is make it match my chest so what I like to do is I like to grab the bronzer where the contour was with very little product and then start dragging it down to blend the contour shade and my bronzer shade with my actual skin tone. So essentially I'm just bronzing up my skin down here so everything blends together and there's kind of like a shadow and I just want everything to just mesh and blend together. I just pick up a tiny bit of product like this. I just, it's like that, barely anything. And I go in to bronze and warm up my skin a little bit more. And the less product I have, I start blending it downwards towards my neck. Yes, I'm grabbing my shirt so I can go under. And I make sure to get like the sides of my neck blended because I don't want any harsh lines here. That's how you can also tell. And that's how everything blends out together. Now, now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, everything else, off camera. So, um... I do this quicker and I'll come back to say goodbye. So I finished my makeup, um, this is just what I came up with, just a basic red lip, threw some lashes on, really simple eyeshadow, and that's it. I really didn't feel like doing much, but I felt like wearing a red lip, so. Um, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the other how-to videos from this series, it's every single Tuesday, how-to Tuesday, so don't forget, please subscribe, I really, really appreciate it, come join the family. Um, if you have any questions and suggestions, anything that you'd like to discuss, anything, um, please don't forget to comment. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!